Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Come join us. For help with pronunciation, intonation, fluency, accent production and more. EasyNativeEnglish.com Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about my diary. Right, the reason I'm going to talk to you about this today is because I've been using this, well, since before January actually, even though I made it for this year, I've actually been using it before, at the end of um, December. And even though I've been using it, I've been really struggling with it. I didn't think I would, considering I made it, <laughs> which is really ridiculous, but it's really hard. I, I am actually finding it difficult. And then I suddenly thought, I told all of you about it, and I told you to use it to help you get more out of this year and to plan your year better and get more um, productivity out of your life, basically. And the reason I developed it is because I wanted to do so much more this year. So let's just go through what's on here and then I'll explain to you why I'm struggling with it. And I, and I thought, well, if I'm struggling with it, other people must be struggling with it as well. So jumping ahead to tomorrow because today's Wednesday and I've already started filling it in. So on the page itself, you have at the top an affirma affirmation. Now, it says at the top, I have endless talents. <laughs> I, I found these affirmations um, off the internet and I decided that I would write an affirmation down for each day to tell myself. So the affirmation for tomorrow is I have endless talents. So the idea is I have to say to myself, I have endless talents, I have endless talents, so that I can then use my endless talents and get more productivity out of my day if I change my subconscious first. Because apparently there are two sides to everybody. You have your subconscious mind and you have your um, conscious mind. So your um, conscious mind is your mind that's doing all your work. So for example, if you're on the phone and you're having a conversation and you're thinking about what to do and you're thinking about all the work you have to do and what you want to have for lunch and breakfast and everything. And so your conscious mind is the mind that you use every day. That's, so you're thinking about things on the surface. But your unconscious mind or your subconscious mind is the mind behind that. So, for example, if I put something down, for example, my phone, and I didn't know where it was, then I would have to stop and think back to where I'd been and then um, retrace my steps. Now, I would have to go into my subconscious mind for that because that's where the information is stored. So your subconscious mind is your mind that stores all your information that's happened during your life all the way from when you were born up till the present time. And the idea is everything that's happened to you, all your experiences you have are stored in your subconscious mind. So the idea is because there will be things already stored in your subconscious mind that might not be working in your favor now. For example, there are beliefs that you have from childhood um, that would undo any positive ideas that you have now. You have to actually replace those um, thoughts that have already been stored in your subconscious mind. So the idea of the affirmation is, um, like this one, I have endless talents, is to override any um, thoughts that have been put there previously, let's say from childhood, where my parents probably said to me, oh, you're not very clever, or, you know, you don't do things right, or teachers have said, you know, this is wrong, or whatever. There's things already stored in your subconscious mind that would then kick in when you try to do something and undo the work you're trying to do. So the idea of an affirmation is to tell yourself 
these things over and over again so that it overrides the previous programming as it were. So that was the purpose of having an affirmation written at the top of the diary. Now, to be honest, I've actually been <laughs> skipping that and jumping to the next one, which says my goals for the month and the year. And so I haven't really been getting the most out of my affirmations for the day. I really need to concentrate on that one and do that more so that it psychologically sets me up for the day. So I tend to just rush into my goals for the month and the year. Now I have goals for the month and the year that I want to achieve. And that's quite easy for me to do actually. So because for that one, I just have to keep writing that every single day. So I want Easy Native English to be successful this year. So that's one of the things that I will write down in my goals for the month and the year. And there are other things that I want to achieve this month or achieve this year, like I want to put um, more resources up in um, a Patreon and things like that. And I need to do um, a lot more videos. So there's things like that that I want to do this year and this month that I can fill in. Then there's goals for the day. Now, I have a habit of, I, I've always used a to-do list, which means I make a list of things that I need to do. That's why it's called a to-do list. So then I have the goals for the day. And actually, I, ca I kind of tend to rush in and fill that in. And sometimes write nonsense like, I need to go shopping. That isn't supposed to go in there. That's supposed to go on the other side here. So on here, I'm supposed to write, I have to do the shopping. I have to take my daughter to the library. All of the things that aren't really goals, they're just things that I have to do. So that's supposed to go in there, but I have a tendency to just rush in and fill it in there and suddenly go, oh no, 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 I have to go and put it on this side. The goals for today have to be things like things that I want to achieve today. Something fulfilling, something that's rewarding, something that um, I should do today that will make my life better for the future. Like, for example, I would write in there, oh, I have to upload more resources to um, Patreon because that will save me having to do it, do that same work tomorrow or the day after, whatever. So that will cut down the work that I need to do. So that would probably be a goal for today. But then shopping and cooking and all the other things that have to be done, that should really go in the other list. So then when you get to the end of the day, because you're supposed to fill this in in the morning as well, because when you get to the end of the day and you have this section, you're supposed to then say, did you achieve your goals for today and write it down there and say, yeah, I achieved that goal. I've done these jobs and then write those down there. So then you can feel good about yourself before you go to bed. And then before you go to bed, you then write down a few things that you're going to do the next day. So the goals that would go in here get written down here first. But then when you get up in the next morning, you then fill this section again in the next morning and do the whole process again. I need to get, I need to put down as one of my goals this month to get better at planning because... I've been doing this just before um, January I started this and I have I have actually made a lot of progress I've made I feel like I've made more progress than I did um, previous months when I didn't have this so I do know it works but it is taking me a bit of time to actually sort myself out and do so I thought I would run through this for you and explain to you how it works because I've been struggling with it myself as well and um, but I do know on the days that I have actually done it properly it has been brilliant so if you're struggling with it I'm struggling with it too but persevere keep going it does work and for those of you that are new and don't know what I'm talking about I created this diary. I've only got the first 
five months up at the moment because when I created it my computer crashed because it just couldn't cope with the number of pages that I was adding to the document. So I will do the other half later on but you've got the first half of the year to get on with. And um, so I created this diary, Believe You Can and You're Halfway There, so that I could plan um, the whole of this year and make sure that every single month this year counted and was productive and whatever I wanted to achieve, I actually managed to achieve this year. Because it's like when you go, when you're studying in school um, or you're studying at university, the structure's done for you. Everything's already prearranged. You already have your lessons set and your um, lectures set and you just have to turn up and then the teacher gives you your work and then you do your work and then they give you a deadline and you have to hand your assignment in. All of those things, those are all set for you and the idea is you go through that pattern and when you get to the end then you know you get your marks and you take your exams and you achieve your qualification or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, you pass your exams and your tests but when you've either stopped studying or there's other things you want to achieve outside of academics, you need a plan too. You need to have um, a timetable of things to do and you need to be able to reach those objectives. But if you don't have a plan, how are you ever going to reach them? So I know a lot of you are learning English or you want to learn English or you want to become more fluent or you want to get better at writing, all sorts of things to do with English, develop your vocabulary, etc. But unless you're at school, unless there is somebody there telling you what to do, that's going to be really difficult. So, and also, learning English isn't easy. You know, you are going to get fed up and you just think, oh, this is really difficult, I can't do this, and you have bad days, I have bad days, but that's where the affirmations come in, you know, so that you can tell yourself, no, you do have endless talent, you can do this, even though it's difficult, you can do this. Even I have to tell myself this, you know, when I'm, when I'm trying to learn new technology and I'm trying to work out how um, different things on the internet work, and I haven't got a clue, and I have to go and ask my children, I have to go and ask my children because they have a better idea than I have. And and you do get fed up and it's hard work. But if you don't have a plan, then you're planning to fail, basically. So that's the reason I created this. Because as as a teacher, when I was teaching before, I always used to plan ahead so that I knew what to teach the children I was teaching. Um, so that when I came to do a lesson, then I already had all my resources and everything ready because it was already pre-planned. But now that I'm working on the website and I'm working on this business, I don't have that timetable. I don't have a plan specifically for it. So I had to create one. So that's why I created this to help me. And then I thought, that would help you too. So that's how it works. So I hope that makes it more clearer and you understand better how to use this. And I'm going to keep on working at this and hopefully it'll get easier for me. And I hope that this helps you become successful in whatever it is that you want to do too. So if you haven't downloaded this already, it's on my Patreon site. Um, so just go to patreon.com slash easy native English. You will find the Motivational Diary 2020 in there. I hope that clears up any confusion of how to use it and you can make it work for you. Thanks. Bye.